Good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for joining me this morning. You know, as I was reading the Atlanta paper this morning, I saw an interesting article that caught my attention, and it was on the investment group OfferPad hiring um, Goldman Sachs to take them public on Wall Street on the stock exchange. You might have seen this story. Uh, many of them are trying to do that. They're trying to raise uh, basically unlimited amounts of money that they can use to invest in residential real estate, buying homes. And I know that many of you are feeling this as competitors. And it's not just OfferPad, is it? There's all kinds of groups like these. There's Open Door, there's Knock, there's Zillow, um, there's uh, Wayward, there's home investors. It, the list goes on and on. And that's on top of the investment groups that already were in existence, like BlackRock, Predium. You know, these folks own over 25,000 single family homes in Metro Atlanta. Did you know that? That's how significant a part they are. So when you feel that the inventory has been soaked up, that there's just not enough good homes for sale, well, let me throw that in and let's see if it makes sense now. They own, these big investment groups, own over 25,000 units in Metro Atlanta. What if they didn't? Wouldn't we have a lot more inventory to work with? But they do, and that's just a fact. And the reasons why they do are many, but that's another call for another time. Today, I just wanna be stay focused on this. They're out there and they're raising unlimited amounts of cash and they're betting on one thing. They're betting on this. They're betting that you and me won't do our jobs. That's what they're betting. They're betting that you and I won't go out there and stay in touch with our network, with our group of peeps in an authentic, relevant way every day. They're betting that you and I are just going to roll over in bed this morning, hit the snooze or what I like to call the loser button, go back to sleep and wait for people to call us. And wait for people to call us. That's their macro strategy. It has to be their macro strategy because folks, if you and I go out there today and we do our jobs, which is to interact in a credible, relevant way with our group of people. That could be your sphere of influence, could be your target audience. But if you do that, if you take action, if you get up and run your business today like a business and you spend 50% of your day today interacting with your group of peeps, your tribe, your target audience, here's what I know. I know that Zillow and OfferPad and open door, they can go raise any amount of money they want to. They're not going to be able to compete against you. They're not. Because 95% of all consumers want to do business with somebody they know, they like, and they trust. And they don't know, like, or trust those big corporations. They want to know you and they want to trust their home where they raise their family to somebody that they know and can trust. So OfferPad hiring Goldman Sachs to take them pr public. Yeah, sure. You, hey, OfferPad, you go ahead and do that. As for me, I'm gonna go out there and do my job today. I'm gonna expand my network and build credibility with my network and I'm gonna whoop your ass. Because I know if I do my job, and folks, if you'll come with me and do your job, don't roll back over today. Don't sit at home waiting for people to call you. Get out there and interact with them. OfferPad can hire whoever they want to today and they can raise as much cash as they want to raise and they're not going to be able to compete with me. All I have to do is go out and make it happen for myself today.